Top wedding facts you probably didn't know until now. Fancy a never-ending resource of videos, reports, news, and trends for couples around the world that are planning to tie the knot soon? Too easy. Just take a moment to quickly subscribe and click the bell icon and you'll never miss out again. In this video, we will talk about things, traditions, and beliefs about marriage or wedding that you may not have heard about. Number 1. Bride's Surname. In the United States, there is no law or religious dictate that says the bride must take the groom's last name. However, mostly 70% of Americans agree that a bride should change her last name. Essentially, women went from being part of their parents' families to become their husband's property. Number 2. Blood tests or physical examinations, before the wedding day in states where no blood tests or physical exams are required, failing to tell your prospective spouse that you have a venereal disease or a physical impairment, such as impotence or infertility, can void the marriage. A handful of states still require blood tests for couples planning to marry. Premarital blood tests check for venereal disease or rubella. Number 3. Traditional bouquets. Early Roman brides carried a bunch of herbs, instead of bouquets, such as garlic and rosemary, under their veils to symbolize fidelity and fertility and to ward off evil. These herbs served as a precursor to the modern bridal bouquet. Number 4. Wedding rings. Wedding rings are often placed on the third finger of the left hand because ancient Egyptians believed the vein in that hand, which the Romans called the vein of love, ran directly to the heart. But after hundreds of years, wedding rings were worn on the right hand and not the left. Number 5. Wedding Cake. A wedding cake is traditionally a symbol of good luck and fertility and has been a part of wedding celebrations since Roman times, where a small bun, symbolizing fertility, was broken above the bride's head at the close of the ceremony. During the Middle Ages, custom required the bride and groom to kiss over small cakes. It is also a sign of sustenance and good fortune. Number 6. Virgin Bride. In many Muslim countries and some parts of Greece, the virginity of the bride is very important. The groom is expected to show the virginal blood on the sheets the morning after the wedding. The couple's family is waiting outside to ensure the bride was a virgin and the husband was potent. According to the majority of Muslim scholars, if the bride has lost her virginity due to premarital sex, the husband has the right of choice to keep her as a wife or to leave her. Number 7. Double Wedding. A double wedding is traditionally considered bad luck because it's too much happiness for evil demons to overlook. In the Philippines, they believe in sukab, wherein the wedding date should be well planned because two siblings cannot marry within the same year or this will bring bad luck. Number 8. The Month of June, Best Wedding Month. The month of June, derives its name from Juno, the Roman goddess of marriage. She was the protector of women in all aspects of life, especially in marriage and childbearing. In the United States and some Southeast Asian countries, June is the most popular month for weddings. Number 9. Traditional White Dress. Wearing white dresses on your wedding day wasn't initially about purity or symbolizing virginity. Some believe that it's about expressing wealth because a white dress was so hard to clean, the insinuation that you'd only be wearing it once was a sign of luxury. And white wedding dresses only really became popular after Queen Victoria wore one in 1840. Number 10. Kiss on your wedding day. Roman history shows that a couple gets betrothed if they kissed passionately in front of a large group including family. In Old World Christian culture, they viewed a wedding kiss as a symbol of the scripture, two souls becoming one flesh. Do you want to learn more facts about weddings? See you on our next videos and continue to follow us on our channel. Thank you for watching.